I always I really admire and respect people that show their vulnerabilities because I think it takes a lot of courage to do that. Many, many years ago I was a teacher and I was just was sitting in the staff room and I looked around the staff room and I just had that moment where I thought, what am I doing? Why am I here? This, isn't, this really isn't me. And in that moment the decision was made to, to leave and so within two weeks I handed in my resignation and then I moved on to another project which I really wanted to do. And that was the lead, leadership moment really, that was a moment where I stepped into what was really important for me. So one of the things I, I suppose I've realised around leadership is that it's about stepping into uncertainty in the way I express myself or in the decisions I make and actually having a relationship with uncertainty that doesn't stop me from moving forward. So I think as a leader it's always about saying, saying the things that other people don't have the confidence to say sometimes and then seeing what happens without knowing whether it's going to work or not work. So with the projects I'm doing at the moment, I step into uncertainty by hiring a venue for a workshop that I don't even know if anyone's going to come to it. And I put down a deposit and I've got the dates. So there's no, there's no insurance policy, there's no security around that. You just have to put yourself out there and see what the response is and then deal with the response when it comes. When we're actually delivering workshops, I'll often share with the group that we're working with something very vulnerable, a weakness, something I'm struggling with. And what's really interesting is you, the reaction of the, of the guys who are in the workshop is, this, this is a facilitator, how come he's still got all these problems? But that's a leadership moment because it actually takes a lot of courage and strength to admit that I'm still got all my stuff, I've still got all my issues and all the hang-ups and challenges are, are, are still there in my life as well. And I think often people think of leaders as being infallible, as being really strong and they've got no faults. But for me, it's the opposite. I always I really admire and respect people that show their vulnerabilities because I think it takes a lot of courage to do that.